Welcome back, everyone. Concealer application. There's a hack for that, but is it a hack that's worth your time? That's the question. Grace Lee is here to set the record straight. And Grace, I need to get your thoughts on these viral TikTok makeup <laughs> hacks that we are seeing everywhere. Just overall, how do you feel about them? Uh, overall, it's entertainment for me, honestly. <laughs> uh, let's see, how much time do we have? Uh, right. well, some of them are viral for a reason. Yeah. Not meaning that it's good for you yeah. or that it's going to work. I just think it's viral and it's entertaining and it could be clickbait. But then yeah. there are one in maybe 20 that actually do work. So... Those are my like light thoughts on these videos. Listen, that's why we continue to test them uh, on the show. So, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test some of these hacks. You've taken three trending concealer hacks and you're gonna show us whether they are worth trying at home because don't waste your time. She's gonna yeah. let you know. <laughs> Let's talk about hack number one. Okay. So white concealer. Put the white concealer down. <laughs> That's a no. I mean, these videos are really meant to mimic this, like, really brightening area yes, under the eyes. and youthful and awake. But, you know, they're seeing a lot of celebrities that are under, like, an immense amount of lighting. So you see that brightness because of the lighting. But yeah. when you're putting a white concealer or a primer under the eye, one, it doesn't work for all skin tones. Right. So imagine putting it, like, I can't imagine putting white under my eyes or yours. And then imagine it's mine, It's going to yeah. look gray or ashy, mm. and it's just not going to look natural. Okay. And really, nobody needs to be putting white under their eyes. No, and I went through a phase where we were always doing, like, way, way, way lighter concealer, and you mm -hmm. could even see the way, way lighter concealer in a bad way yes. on television. So um, I couldn't <laughs> imagine white. And like you said, it's a bad way. In a so, bad way. In a bad way. Yeah. Uh, nobody needs to look like a raccoon. No. So, or like the vice versa. Yeah. The, whatever that the is. The opposite of raccoon yes. is still bad. It's still bad. Yeah. Okay. So maybe not the white concealer. She says put it down. All right. Hack number two is pretty interesting. Uh, let's bring our model Sadie in for this one. Come on in and have a seat because we want to talk about this next concealer hack that is using a lot of concealer. It's called... Tracing? Concealer tracing? Yeah, it's like a map. I mean, she pretty much put, like, the whole map of Canada on her face with <laughs> concealer. It was just too much. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love the concealer that she used. It's, okay. like, one of my favorite. It's really, really great. It's just the placement of the concealer. It was yeah. just so much. She put so much under the eye, under the nose, down the nose, and then she doubled down and went the other way, and then under the chin. It was just way too much concealer in areas that you don't need concealer. Concealer yeah. is very opaque. It doesn't need three layers on areas that is actually perfect. And the whole point of concealer is to conceal. So you're not trying to wear a mask on your whole face. That's not the whole point. So what can you do a little differently uh, versus putting your whole face in concealer? So there are viral videos that really show how to really like uplift yeah. and make the, the, you know, just the areas of the vase look very like uplifted. Mm. And what I say is less is more. I've been preaching this forever. Yeah. Less is more. Um, you want to always just put like the concealer just where needed. Like I would dot that. Also, everything is kind of in an upward motion. Mm -hmm. So also like around the nose where most people need a little bit more concealing. Mm -hmm. But also like around here, around the mouth, you want to just go a little bit upwards. Oh. And then when you're just blending that, but like I said, it's so minimal. Yeah. It's not like the video where you're putting like a crazy amount. Yeah. Um, it's just really just to kind of like lightly highlight those areas and kind of give that very, like, lifted look. Yes. So that's nice. So she's got sort of this whole cheek sculpting situation happening, and the concealer underneath yes. is just giving you that beautiful shadow. It's the same idea as that map sculpting yeah. thing that she did, but she, like, it's just not as much. You don't need so much. It's, I mean, fun to watch, but <laughs> um, like I said, I think it's just clickbait. I just look at it and I think, how long does it take to get your face together to go to the corner <laughs> store? Like, that's a lot of work to that's leave your house, right? Not a lot, like so <clears throat> much product. It's a I lot just of product. Think it's just too much product. Yeah, at the yeah. end of the day, when you gotta take it off, it's an issue. Okay, so <laughs> we're on to your last hack now, and we're gonna talk about blush, but not here. We're gonna talk about it under the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yay or nay, Grace? 
Yay and nay. Okay. I understand the idea of putting the blush under the eyes because it's color correction. Okay. So, you know, when you have very dark circles, you're color correcting with color correction. Yeah. Um, pink kind of erases, you know, like that blue undertone mm -hmm. under the eyes. So I get that appeal, but I just don't think that you should put a blush, per se, under the eyes because it's not meant for the eye area. And it hasn't been tested for the hasn't eye been area, tested. has it? I mean, sometimes I do cheat, but however, yeah. If you're gonna wear that all day, your eye area is very thin, so yeah. you wanna use products that are very, like, meant for the eye area. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah, but totally. Like, I would just then do, like, correcting concealers. Like, yeah. I'm using one that has a bit of, like, an orangey, um, you undertone. know, pink undertone, which will yeah. kind of really conceal the, um, darkness under the eye mm -hmm. and then doing a concealer on top and again minimal is best yeah and then just lightly blending it out and it's like that easy you don't need a huge amount of product and then like I said tap it in reassess mm -hmm. and then add more and so the color corrector happens uh, first yes. and then the concealer happens on top of it yes you don't necessarily have to go with a blush no. So, you know, you don't necessarily need to reinvent the wheel, and I feel like that happens a lot with a lot of the uh, viral trends that we're seeing when it comes to makeup. I 100%. see your face is agreeing with me, Gracie. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, you have been a picture-perfect so model. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate your time. That is incredible.